Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to the start of another reading vlog. So this week I'm reading Plain Bad Heroines by Emily M. Danforth. Now this is going to be my first horror novel of 2021. When I was looking back over my reading for 2020, I only read 5% horror and I said that's definitely a genre I want to try and read more of this year. So this is the first one that I've picked. And I think the premise of this one is really, really interesting. So it's set initially at a school for girls called Brookhaunt School for Girls and it's set in the early 1900s and we follow the two main characters of Flo and Clara and these two girls are in love and they make a society at school called the Plain Bad Heroines Club. And the reason for this is they say that the only heroine in literature who is plain is Jane Eyre and we need more heroines you know who are plain and bad and over the course of this they get very very obsessed with a particular book and then something absolutely horrible and tragic and gruesome occurs these two girls are out in the woods and one of them falls into this kind of hole and un underneath this is a massive wasp's nest and she falls essentially into the wasp's nest and she's dying a horrible, horrible, gruesome death. And she screams and her lover runs to her and they both end up dying in this really gruesome, horrible wasp attack. And that's the kind of setup for the book. And we think that there's something to do with the book as well because their bodies are found entwined together and the book is laid open next to the bodies on a particular page where lots of words have been underlined. Anyway, somebody writes a book about this event and then that book itself is going to be turned into a movie. So in the present day, we're following the author of the book she was 16 when she wrote the book and it's five years later, so she's 21 now. So we're following her as a character and we're also following the girls who are going to play the lead characters of Clara and Flo in the movie. So we're following those two women as well. So we're following a nice mix of characters. Obviously, some are in the past, some are in the present. And I really, really like that setup. So I think that's really, really good so far. And it's actually very intriguing too, because the idea of the wasps keep kind of popping up in the present day too. Every time a character does something, there's like a wasp around or it's like a wasp comes out of someone's leather jacket or yeah. So <laughs> I think that's going to be a very recurrent theme. And the idea of this book that the two girls became obsessed with is a very kind of recurrent theme too. So I'm thinking it's very, very interesting so far. I've read, how much have I read? I've read 114 pages and that's about a fifth or a sixth of this book, I would say. This is a massive, massive book. How many pages are there? There are six, over 620 pages. And it's also got illustrations too, which I think is really quite nice. Let me see if I can find a nice one. Do, do, do. Oh, there was one. I just flipped past it. Oh, no, I can't find it. Ah, wait, there it is. There it is. Bear with. <laughs> there we are. So we've got illustrations in this book too, which I think is a really nice touch. I like that. I haven't read many books with illustrations in them for a really, really long time. And yeah, I just think this is a really really good book so far. I read those hundred and a bit pages over the course of one day, like a couple of chunks, like a little bit at lunchtime and a little bit after work. So yeah, I think this book has a lot of promise and I'm hoping that it is going to be a little bit scary. I have to say the detailed description of how the girls died was actually very gruesome. It, it was quite, it was quite horrifying. And then we're also following kind of what happened at the school, the after effects of what happened at the school. And unfortunately, the book went missing and we follow the character who took the book. And I won't say anything, but people are going to end, it's going to end sticky. <laughs> it's going to be a sticky end for a lot of people. I think if you get too enamoured with this book, um, something bad is going to happen to you, which I think is really interesting. So maybe it is like a cursed book or something. So yes, I'm looking forward to reading more of this one.
Hi, so I'm checking in on Playing Bad Heroines. I've been reading this book for a whole week now and I'm up to page 398. So I'm about three quarters of the way through. So I'm thinking this is definitely going to take me two whole weeks to read this book. And I am enjoying it so far, but I will say it is quite slow. I'm finding parts of it quite ploddy and it's just kind of lacking that kind of excitement for me. I think it is much longer than it needs to be honestly I think a lot of this probably could have been chopped out and just kind of made it a bit more dramatic just a little bit faster the plot I think the pacing is quite slow for my liking but I am enjoying all the different characters I like the way that we have it across two different time periods so the early 1900s and then the present day and I like the way that we're seeing the book of the event being adapted into a movie and I like the fact that we're following the author of the book and then the actresses who are going to play the main two girls in the movie and we're kind of seeing just how they're all interacting and we're following a few different romantic relationships but like I say <laughs> I've read quite a decent chunk since I last checked in and I don't feel like I know that much more but it is a little bit creepy so that's really good obviously it's a horror book and the whole kind of wasp factor is a little bit scary so I don't particularly like wasps anyway I'm definitely wary of them and I was sitting in the sun in the conservatory reading this book with the door open because it was so warm and a wasp flew in and I was just like <laughs> oh my goodness especially when you're reading scenes about the wasps and about the like part of the curse and part of like this horrible kind of awful awful thing that happens to these girls and yeah I was a little bit like oh goodness me that is the worst moment ever for a wasp to fly in because it is quite creepy so there were little bits that do read quite creepy to me but they're only like little sections and then we kind of go off into the main kind of narrative and I feel because we do so much of that that the creepy aspect gets a little bit kind of downgraded for me it gets a little bit convoluted I'm not kind of feeling this creepy vibes all of the time which is fine because obviously I might not want it to be creepy all of the time but yeah it doesn't kind of keep you on its tenterhooks because I do think it's quite poddy but I am enjoying it and I do want to see what happens and there are some good not twists I wouldn't say but some kind of surprises of things that's getting revealed and I do like that I would like to see where this is going to go I am very interested to see um like the production film side of how they're going to do this and following those characters I think that's going to be good so yeah I'm looking forward to carrying on reading this one So I thought I'd also tell you about one of the movies I've seen recently and this one was on Netflix and if you know me at all, if you've seen any of my videos before, you know that I like thrillers, I like psychological thrillers, I love reading them, they were like my favourite genre and I really really enjoy psychological thriller movies too. So the one that I watched was called Greta and it was starring Chloe Grace Moretz and I really like her as an actress and it was just so 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 good I was absolutely shocked by some of the things there were a few moments that actually made me shriek and I could see what was going to happen and I was like oh my goodness and I think that's the best kind of reaction to have with a psychological thriller so the kind of premise is you have the main character of Chloe Grace Moretz and she is just a nice young woman basically she's a waitress 
and she's on the subway and she finds a handbag and um, she tries to go and hand it in at the lost and found but there's nobody there so she takes it home and she tracks down where this lady lives by looking at a driving license and then she goes around to her house to give the handbag back which is really really nice because it's a nice handbag and it's full of money and I think probably a lot of people might not do the right thing and might not take the handbag back anyway so she goes to see this lady, she gives her a handbag back and she wants to say thank you so she invites her in for a cup of tea and they kind of strike up this little friendship between them and it's really quite sweet actually. Um, she has lost her mother and the woman has lost her daughter so they have this kind of like nice kind of maternal relationship building which is really lovely. And then it kind of turns a dark, dark corner and it starts to get quite sinister and it won't ruin any of the plot at all. So that's all you need to know. There's these two women that are building up a friendship and then it gets dark and twisted and I really, really enjoyed it. So I would absolutely give that film five out of five. I thought it was wonderful and it's probably one of my favourite films I've watched so far this year, actually. And I've probably watched about 20 films so far this year. So yeah, I thought it was really, really good. So if you're in the mood for a great psychological thriller movie and you haven't watched that one yet, I would absolutely recommend it and it's called Greta. So yeah, I thought I'd just kind of pop that into because I don't really have much else to talk about with my book because... I haven't read any more, so there we are. So I have finished playing Bad Heroines and I like this one, I'm going to give it 3 stars but it is a low 3 stars. For me there was just something missing about this book. I thought it was unnecessarily long unfortunately, I think a decent chunk of this could have been chopped out and I think had it been shorter it definitely would have packed more of a punch for me. In terms of the characters, I always kind of felt they were just characters in a story. None of them ever felt like real people to me, which was a bit of a shame. So I didn't really feel particularly connected to any of the characters in this one. And one thing I did like about it, which was quite different from other books, is the story within a story aspect of it. I thought that part was done very, very well and I really enjoyed that. But I will say I was expecting the two timelines to come together. I thought there was going to be some kind of cohesion there between the past and the present. I thought perhaps she would weave these two narratives together somehow. There's going to be some kind of linking at the end. And that's what I was expecting. That's what I was hoping for. This kind of coming full circle between the two timelines and all of the characters. But unfortunately that didn't happen. It just ended those no dis there's a disconnect completely between the past and the present i thought we were gonna mash it all up somehow and i was really looking forward to that and it didn't happen so that was a little bit of a letdown for me because that's where i thought this story was going but like i say i still enjoyed it but i don't think this one's going to be particularly memorable for me i think i will remember the kind of general plot but I think the character names and the details of this are going to go quite quickly, unfortunately. So I would definitely read something else by her. I'm definitely interested in reading more from this author. But just, yeah, it's a little bit long, this one. I think, yeah, a little bit shorter, pack a little bit more of a punch. So a few more thoughts on this one. I really like the boarding school setting. The whole boarding school setting trope is one that I really enjoy. And I definitely think it has gothic vibes for sure. And it has creepy vibes, definitely. But do I think it reads as a horror? Not really. It doesn't really sustain that kind of horror element for me. It reads more of a, maybe a YA contemporary to me with 
a little bit of horror thrown in but I wouldn't really really call this one a horror I don't think and I know that's the way it's marketed so I was going into this one expecting a horror expecting to be horrified at some stages but creepy yes horrifying not really so I think that's maybe why I'm a little bit disappointed too because I was going into this one knowing that it's my first horror novel of 2021 and there really isn't that much horror in it really. I think for me it reads more like a contemporary with a little bit of horror thrown in which is absolutely fine. So if you're interested in this book obviously let me know if you've read it let me know. I am going to wrap up the vlog here. So as I've read a horror, I'm going to read a different genre next week. I'm thinking I might read a thriller sometime next week because I'm just kind of in the mood for a thriller now. And I know for definite I'm going to be reading a science fiction too because I'm doing a buddy read of The Long Way to a Small Angry Planet. So I'm definitely going to be reading that one too. So thank you so much for watching. If you'd like to see more of me talking about books, please do subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!